previously on Chasing Cultures. This is why he's still rehabbing, it's because of the leg here. He did have an abscess in his chest, but now it has subsided because we treated him with long-term antibiotics. We're gonna go to Georgia's first workout, which is free lunging in the ring. This is when I knew he was going to be a bit wild to put back to work. Today I am headed to the barn that I keep George at, my dad's house, and I am going to ride him for the second time this year. He hasn't been ridden in about six months. About a week ago I got on him. He was a little bit crazy, but I brought him for a walk on the trail and that was kind of nice. So I think I'm probably going to do that today unless it's super slippery. Buddy, what are you doing? Maybe you go do some work? Bit dirty. First, we're going to free lunch him and then. I'm gonna bring him back in here, get him tacked up, and we'll go for a walk on the trails. That'll be enough for today. Good first day back. He's a bit chunky. He doesn't like when I try and feel his ribs, which I can barely feel because he's obese. And another dreadlock. With George's leg injury, it's been kind of a long process. So what happened is, right, here around his fetlock, he got a hay net wrapped. Sorry, you can hear my chicken out there. And it kind of cut into his skin, but it didn't really like bleed. It kind of just like separated the first layer of his skin, I guess you could say. And because the hay net also got caught around here, when we wrapped it, I think it made it almost worse in a way, even though it was quite swollen. So now this larger part here is just kind of like scar tissue but it's not hot, it's not swollen, it's just here. So hopefully it kind of goes down over time, but you can see from the side view, the slight bump there. This back part has healed up nicely. There's like a few scabs that are still kind of coming off. Otherwise his leg feels pretty clean and the vet also thinks that he should be good to go. kind of frozen and slick, so I'm gonna go get his saddle and just walk. Come here! All right, bridle, saddle, girth, pad, ready to go for a ride. I forgot how fat you were. This girth used to be loose. Now it's like a second skin. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> so after finally getting his girth on, I put on his bridle and we were ready to begin our ride. Trail. I'll probably end up walking like a mile myself, but that's all right. He gets so bored. 
board in the ring and it's a pretty boring day today. We can't even like trot our canner on this. It's so slippery. To get to the trail, we have to walk about a half mile down the road, which kind of stinks, but it's a pretty quiet road most of the time, so it's not too bad. Someone literally plowed a path to the trail, but the trail's not plowed, so not really sure about that, but that's all right. spot on the trail. It's so pretty. In the summer he goes in that river there and goes swimming. It's really nice. But right now there are ice chunks floating down it so we'll not be going swimming. Riding in the woods is usually so peaceful, specifically in the winter. It is so quiet and muted because of the snow and the green tones from the trees contrast against the dullness of the stark season. But the peaceful ride ends when we turn back towards home and George immediately wants to run which isn't helpful when he is still recovering from his leg injury. So I got off to walk him because he was jogging a little bit too much and he was slipping everywhere. It's super icy. But there is a trail that kind of like cuts through to our house. So it's not really super finished, but we're going to take that. This is what the trail has turned into. It's not even really a trail anymore. But our house is right over there, so we're just gonna go for it. Oh, some deer tracks. Some deer poop. Uh, this way, I guess, would be best. A lot of trees had fallen down since we last used this trail. This is the old trail. You can kind of see it now. A little bit creepy, to be honest. This is the old trail. Has turned into complete bushwhack but we're gonna just go for it. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Now we're done with that. Good boy. He's the best horse. Now he sees the barn and he wants to go home. That is a really large broken branch. Maybe I try and pull it down. Maybe we try and sneak around it. the walk I was expecting. Good boy. There he is in all his glory. He got a little sweaty. That's good. All right, so that is it for today's George video. I hope you enjoyed it. He was very good today. So next time you'll probably see us ride again and then hopefully later in the year we can do some showing or something different. I know we're doing a horse triathlon with some of our friends, so that'll be pretty cool. But definitely keep watching if you want to see more of George.